Okay, Chris, before you go into this, keep an open mind. Dude, I'm going to keep an open mind, bro. I'm going to keep an open mind. Maybe he's... Because I don't like it, but I think it's one of his better songs. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, chat. We're reacting to Tom McDonald God mode, okay? Let's see if my triggered little liberal twink butt is going to get offended. I've been hearing that they think my political music is boring. Tell them oh, is this not going to be a political song? Okay, let's see what bro got. Um, I'm sorry. I've been rapping about things that I feel are important. I can talk about how rich I am. Me, me when chat's like, yo, dude, why, are you, why do you keep fucking watching these stupid little cringe videos? I'm like, I'm talking about things that are important. And also it does really well on YouTube. Just to sleep while I love you. That I'm bigger than. I could show you the impact addiction had. How the liquor turned me to a different man. I'm not the kid who was visiting in Disneyland. I'm not a perfect Christian, have a sinner's past. But I sobered up, prescriptions hit the trash. Now I'm sitting back with 50 billboard plaques, 20 million dollars, and a million fa Yo, okay. All right, yo, I'm with it so far. I'm with it, okay. Yeah, actually, if I can just if I can just take away most of what I've heard of his music, okay, and wipe it from my memory, I'm with this right now. Fans, middle fingers flipping, I can't flip them back. I'm so independent, so they get the message. I've been spitting facts. I'm not a fiction fan. I am the truth. I am the goat. I am the proof. You can reach every. Okay, calm down, Joiner Lucas. Okay, <laughs> let's calm down here. One of your goals, you could be too drunk. Wait, it is a rapper thing, though. I should give him some credit there. Okay. Too high, but it's never too late to have hope. I am the one. I'm gonna. I've decided this video will be liberal likes Tom McDonald's new song or some shit like that. Yeah, that's gonna be the title of this video. Shout out anybody getting clickbaited by it. Reach. You can reach every one of your dreams. You can be up against the whole entire That's real, yo. He's actually spit bars. Okay, holy shit. The world and you can beat him if you just believe. They've been saying I'm Illuminati and I'm going to hell. What? I mean, yeah, that is usually the fan base you, you garner. Really searching for by being, you know, in the genre that he is. Anyway, sorry. The excuse to explain why I've done what they can't do themselves. The only way they can make sense of my famous claim I worship Satan and labels of health. I don't have an advantage. It's natural talent. Your ego was damaged. Admit that you failed. I remember back when I was the only political rapper. What the hell happened? All of a sudden, everyone who never gave a damn got political and started rapping. Tragic. I should be flattered. Man, I created the genre. They practically... Uh... Oh, McDo oh, I fucked up spelling McDonald. First song. Yo, oh, yo. Uh, first political song. Uh, his first. Oh, he first rose to prominence with the release of 2017's debut single, Dear Rappers. Um. America two years ago. Now, I'm not saying... I remember Tom McDonald making the, like, whatever Dear Black People song or whatever in, like, 2016. But I would just like to say... Um... This... 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 This came out in 2015. Okay, so let's not act like he. Okay, let's. I understand he's trying to hype himself up, but let's let's not act like he was the one that was like, I'm, I started political rap. Okay, also Tupac, Tupac, brother, you know. Jacket, acting like they're in the conversation they ain't nowhere near it on a different planet this is not youtube this is upper echelon president of sony on my telephone i get what i want how i want when i want until the day that i'm dead when i want when i want okay i'm i'm rocking with it dude i'm rocking with it and gone the internet in love with beef they want rappers at war but i don't care who's coming at me i swore that i wouldn't do this no more the last time i battled the man that i trampled lost his career and then had a divorce that was a damn damn okay it's giving Jojo Siwa thinking she started gay pop. Oh, fuck. Yeah. I will say to build a fan base as big as he ha has on his own, nobody like labels to help is pretty impressive. It is, dude. It is. It is. Wop, wop. If I just forget he's a white boy with dreads, it might be a good song. Yeah, dude, if I close my eyes, just listen to what he's saying. Yeah, maybe. I also, to be fair, I don't usually like, like, uh, like braggadocious rap like this. I'd be on my... Well, not with this, like, beat selection. Like, I like, like, Uzi and 21 Savage and shit, but, like, this, like, very, like, NF-style braggadocious rap. I'll really only ever listen to NF do this kind of shit. Unfair. Homie got torched. I feel the weight like I'm carrying around a corpse. Still no deal. Still no team. Still just little old me. Still making fun of the whole industry. Still rap on my own beats. I'm the only multimillionaire in my family tree. 
I keep hearing rumors that my parents rich and that's how I got in the lead. That's a big L I E. Yeah, I don't I don't think that's real either. I, I like I do believe that he literally fucking turned up on Facebook videos. <laughs> I think he literally got fucking crazy on Facebook. He, his shit went fucking nuclear there with angry boomers. If you want to know the truth, I guess I can show you what I move like this. Let me take you back into my. Also, I would just like to say maybe it's just because of the people that I surround myself with, right? Like people be like, "You goddamn liberal! You got a fucking, fucking chamber of the same people saying the same shit." I've never met a Tom McDonald fan under thirty-five. Okay, I would like to be proven wrong. Maybe somebody in the YouTube channel be like, uh, "YouTube comment section be like, I'm, I'm actually, um, I'm fourteen years old and I love Tom McDonald." Okay, prove me wrong. Okay. I had tell you about the movie I live Former alcoholic, nothing in my wallet Every doctor said that I was depressed Should be in a coffin or inside a cardboard box And addicted to meth I'm gonna be honest with you, I think this shot is really good Okay, sorry, my videographer is coming out This shot, not so good Out a cardboard box and addicted to meth I was sleeping on my best friend couch I was dreaming of a West End house We was living in a basement Sweet east side, brain we get out Oh, okay. I was like, yo, when do we turn into, when, when do we start talking about crackheads in the alley? Tell them there's empty bottles they can have. Cops at the door. I couldn't sleep. Making up noodles to eat for a week. I couldn't stomach the food I was making if I was in high school. I always had weed. Leaving the crib. I'm, I'm just a little confused. If he really did come from this, I'm not saying he didn't. Why is he so hostile towards people in a struggle now? Like, literally, like, most of his rap is just, like, mostly just, like, at least from what I've heard, him putting other people down. So, like, why is he why is he doing that if he came from the struggle? I feel like if you fucking actually struggle, struggled, you're not going to do that. Maybe just trauma of it? Um. Maybe. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't know who he was until I heard the Ben Shapiro song he did. Oh no, dude. Oh no, I'm actually, yo, I didn't know who he was until he was on Chris's stream, TBH. Oh no, I'm putting you guys on to Tom McDonald. Oh fuck. Even the neighbors are tripping, I flip them the bird, I ain't stopping to talk. They leaving us notes on the passenger window because we always park in the whip in a spot. 10 in the morning, we sipping on 40s and taking the hottest Civic up the block. Looking for one of my homies who living on the street because he got addicted to rocks. Waiting in line at church, they're giving out food. I would pull up every second Sunday, get some hard rolled eggs and juice. That was the move. I was a broke boy, then I blew up. I was suicidal, yeah, the mood sucked. Now I've been rich, I done made hits. I've been praying, I don't screw it up. And now that I've blown up. Okay, that's real. Okay, all right, I'm with it. He's kind of just, he's doing a Draw My Life video, but with a, a fucking NF, a, NF beat. <laughs> Free NF beat. But I'm with it. I, I Listen, if I can put aside the fact I don't like the fucking... The, the beat selection and the fact that Tom McDonald has said some shitty shit. I am with it. I think it's a good video overall. To be fair, though, he ain't really putting down crackheads. He puts down mostly LGBTQIA plus and more specifically trans people. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I don't know. At least, like, I feel like most... I, no, actually, let me take that back. I feel like, yeah, if you are in a struggle... I feel like a lot of the times you usually get more, at least, like, empathetic, right? Which a decent amount of times, I'd say, like, 80% of the time when you're down in a struggle, you get more empathetic. And then from the 100% that was the 80% there, 50% of those people are progressive and 50% of them just, like, don't give a fuck about politics, right? Or maybe 40% get progressive. And then 20% are, like, literally, like, I fucking picked myself up by the bootstraps, you pussy, you do it too! Which kind of... You know, I don't know. Maybe I got to do a deeper dive uh, into this and then just kind of get bitter, seemingly. I prefer to live under a rock. Thanks, though, Chris. Yeah, I got you. Thanks, Chris. Yeah, I got you guys. Yeah, I put you on the guys. You guys onto the goat. Um, Keep in mind, this man is Canadian. He should be nice. Yo, real? Well, mom says we have NF at home. I mean, he either just adds too much info into a song or not enough, so then everyone is confused and left for multiple interpretations. Yeah, I think he was kind of given... He's he's given straight info. I was going to say that dude was hitting, like, literally the details of that shit in that bar, but I'm with it, dude. I mean, he's making, like, a... Seemingly, he's trying to make, like, a end of a Kendrick Lamar album type beat song with eight minutes, so if he's like, yeah, I got runtime on this shit, fuck it, let's run it up one time. I'll give him some details. 
They're mad that I've grown up. They missing my old stuff. They say my political music's all sounding the same and the flow suck. I'm never gonna be the old time. I don't. I actually, after I've heard a couple of his songs, I don't think his flow sucks. I think it is pretty similar, but it, again, it's just his beat selection. <laughs> like, if dude wanted to go on a couple of different beats, you know, people would probably say that less. But we're captured the magic of old songs. I don't know, Tom. You the goat, Tom. Give me what I want or I will go, Tom. Shut up! I'm not the guy that you fell in love with back when I was young and dumb. Always getting drunk, taking hella drugs, living in the ghetto, no food for a month. Couldn't pay the power bill, the shower filled with towels, mold, and hella bugs. That was the old Tom. Oh. That was broke Tom. Stop saying you miss who I was. Now I'm sorry that you were in the fucking Bronx of fucking Quebec. I'm sorry, brother. I'm sorry you were in the Bronx of Quebec. Damn. Yeah, someone in his comments said Tom should be president, best Canadian to come to the U.S. I was like, this dumbass don't know how presidents work. <laughs> Do I think he uses terms like Sigma? Maybe. Maybe. I can't imagine a lot of the best producers want to work with this dude because of what his music is about. Yeah, but, like, also, like, dude, you know, just, like, you know. Sorry. You know? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Nick D type B. Yo, can I use this? 40 bucks? Okay, I got you, bro. I do have $20 million, you know? You can give me out of Gucci, give me out of Louis, give me everything I want at once. Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have just to be loved. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere. What? Sorry, I was reading chat, bro. I gotta rewind this a little bit. My bad, dude. I'm sleepy, too. Do the Macarena? I don't know how to do the Macarena. Yeah, that's why I said in my opinion, because I love rap, but I also like rap as party music, and an eight-minute song is too long for that. That's real. I stick to NF thanks though. Yeah. In the ghetto, no food I yeah. Month couldn't pay the power bill. The shower filled with towels, mold, and hella bugs. That was the okay. old time. That was broke right. time. Stop saying you miss who I was. Now you can give me out of Gucci, give me out of Louis, give me everything I want at once. Give me Lamborghinis, give me all my flowers, give you everything I have just to be loved. Now they call me racist and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I we switch into KB with this one. <laughs> oh yeah, dude, yo. Let me, yo, actually, let me turn up. So, okay, so he's saying, get, okay, so he can, because he has money, and now they call him racist. Did he say there will be blood? He's give me all my flowers, give you everything I have just to be loved. Now they call me racist, and they say I'm canceled, but I guarantee you that there will be blood. I ain't going nowhere, I ain't stopping nothing, I'ma really go there, I don't give a, I'm the best thing going right now, they can't mess with me. I'm I feel like a lot of people will claim this whole, like, I'm canceled thing and then be like, ha ha, own liberals. But it's like, if most of your fan base are is already not, like, progressives or liberals, um, it doesn't really matter, <laughs> right? If the people that are trying to hold you accountable aren't the ones fucking paying your checks, it does not fucking matter, <laughs> you know? Like, it doesn't fucking matter. Been up, I've been down, I climbed out my grave, I've been great, wait. I mean, I guess technically, if he's talking about his struggle, he could have climbed out the grave. But if he's talking about his music career, I don't think this dude's really hit many like super lows yet. I mean, maybe. I mean, what? Yeah, dude, blood. What? What is? I mean, I again, metaphorically, right? Like, I guess, but okay. Okay, this is where I'm going to heavy disagree, <laughs> okay? This is where I'm going to heavy disagree, okay? My boy Mike, okay? You ready? Okay. I was been doing fucking independent billboard plaques since, like, 2011, okay? Hoodie Allen, okay? Hoodie Allen. I mean, if he's talking about Facebook videos and Dax, <laughs> is it Dax? What's his name? Dude, I watched his entire Logan Paul podcast. I used to fuck with that dude, actually. Um... If he's talking about coming up on fucking Facebook videos, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Or, uh, you know, again, uh, give him his fucking flowers. He made $20 million, he's got a bunch of billboard plaques. That's sick, dude. Fucking turn up one time, but try to act like you were the one that did it because you fucking came up in, like, 2014 to 2016, and now you're still doing this shit on YouTube and making, like, conservacore rap, okay? 
and that's how you got big. Does Tom McDonald's, like, are any of his, like, top 15 most streamed songs non-political? I, I don't know, you know? So like, let's not act like he fucking made the wave of, like, literally the independent artist. Um, Lanny? Independent. I don't think they really took words from, or, or like, fucking advice from Tom McDonald. I could be wrong. Or it's not Lanny. Who's the fucking, is it Lanny? Motherfucker with, like, fucking 12 million monthly listeners. And I'm the one you have to thank for every independent artist getting billboard plaques. I showed everybody how to beat the record labels and still I don't get no thanks. Everybody who been- Again, this is just literally not true. I mean, maybe for, like, people in his fucking, like, genre and space, maybe. But, like, independent artists, again, have been around for at least, like, 10 years, probably, like, closer to 15 Hating on me, got these every little thing I'm doing. I mean, they dress like me, sign CDs. No one is buying their music. I'm the blueprint for these YouTube kids. Every single little view you get. Every time you get an iTunes check, you just imitate. Thank you, Mr. Tom McDonald, for views and possibly some more subscribers. I do appreciate you, Mr. McDonald. Please shake my hand. I do think that you could actually be a good rapper. Stop song on Spotify is people so stupid. Oh, okay. I want to cut his hair. Yeah, who's the guy that sung about being in love with a ghost and wanting to f to kill for her? I have no idea. Yo, pff, dude's turning up though. It sounds like. Hey, what I do best. I'm on Fox News. I'm on Rolling Stone in the New York Times on the radio. Got a billion views. Millie on the gram. You still paying to be verified, man? I am the reason that Billboard removed all the digital sales charts off their website. I was outperforming label artists and executives pressured them to hit the red light. Universal. I do believe that. I actually do believe that he was fucking doing numbers because of his crazy fucking. Not that they're actually like, you know, crazy insane. I mean, maybe they are. But like, he does have a very loyal fan base. Um, and I think that labels would get upset if he was doing well and charting well places independently i don't think it was just him i think it was a lot of independent artists uh fucking um charting well on uh like whatever it was i forget what he said hold on charts up the website man, to be verified man i am the reason that billboard removed all the digital sales charts up digital sales yeah um also yeah this man sh strives on youtube and apple music but spotify is shit for him one million Monthly, which isn't bad, but when you look at Nick D, Connor, etc., it seems like he can't keep up with Spotify streams. Yeah, I would say probably. Oh, bet. Sorry, bet. Um, I would say probably. Uh, I feel like Apple Music. I mean, I don't know. I feel like that makes sense. It's kind of like trapped, like flexing their two million monthly listeners on Pandora. Like, okay, slay. I guess. You know. But yeah, I think YouTube, Facebook video, and probably Apple Music is, like, big for him. Again, you know, one million is nothing to scoff after, but, like, him being like, yeah, my shit is fucking literally busting Billboard. Billboard's balls are getting busted because of my music is like, well... The website. I was outperforming label artists and executives pressured them to hit the red light. You I do also believe that. I do believe that he was outperforming um, label artists. Universal Warner Music, Sony, CEOs wanted me dead, but they ain't never gonna really kill me. They just cancel the digital charts instead. Stop telling me that anyone else is bigger than I am. Go get the Nielsen sound scan numbers. Tell me what you find, man. Who's the biggest I am? Why is he yelling at buildings? Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> They're angry that I love America. Guess it's a problem because I'm Canadian. Um... I don't know, maybe, I guess you can make the argument that in, like, rap and hip-hop, like, a lot of people don't love America. But if you're trying to say that, like, you can't make mainstream music about loving America, um, what do we just look at country music? I feel like there are pr prominent rappers, though, that fuck with America in some ways. I, I don't think it's, like, a problem of America thing. I think it's because he's, like, um, says a lot of, like, useless conservative rhetoric. I don't think he even, like, fully believes a lot of the rhetoric or, like, thinks that it's super important, but he knows that, like, does well. That's at least what I think from the outside view, so, yeah. I genuinely think he can be very good with some solid, gr oh, guiding, no BS, yes. Hey, country isn't all about America. Oh, I know. Hey, hey, brother. Hey, brother. Yeah, I mean, it isn't. I do love me some fucking Zach Bryan, some Charles Wesley, uh, Godwin, you know, those motherfuckers. 
But yeah, I mean, like, you know, a bunch of their major artists are very, 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 very pro, like, America. I live in the States. I gave 200 grand. Sorry, I'm fucking giving fucking shitty delivery on this shit because I'm sleepy. They're angry that I love America. Guess it's a problem because I'm Canadian. I live in the States. I gave 200 grand to the veterans. I am a patriot. I am a faking this. I don't. Uh, that's fucking sick, actually. Considering how fucking underappreciated American fucking veterans are in this country. Like, oh, damn, dude, you went to war and you got fucking PTSD and then you fucking start doing drugs to try and cope. Oh, damn, we're literally going to destroy your tent that you live in. That's how we feel about you. Dude, this is crazy, though. I need I need to fucking brace myself for this next part, okay? Let me strap in. Canadian. I live in the States. I gave 200 grand to the veterans. I am a patriot. I am a faking this. I don't need to keep on making hits. Could have retired three years ago, basically. Go check my bank account, buddy. I'm crazy rich. I don't need money. I rap because I'm made for this. I am only doing this because I love it. I told every record label they can shove it. Rappers hate on me, but I'm above it. 93 Shawn Michaels, everyone can suck it. They um... I mean, hey, man, turn up. Again, I feel like flexing money, like, he's trying to be like, I'm outside of the box. Flexing money is, like, literally the easiest, like, rapper. Sorry, I was just out of the blue. No, that is valid, dude. That is valid. <laughs> Only veteran I hate is my dad. Other than that, I fuck with most of them. Yo, it's real. Oh, we made you kill a bunch of innocent people? Yeah, too bad we can't give you a house. Yeah, too bad, puss. You gotta live in a tent. Now we're gonna destroy it because we hate homeless people here. What? We have, like... Quad bajillion times the houses as homeless? Oh. Oh. Are you worth anything though? Uh uh. Go live in the gutter. I want photos when they see me out in public. Then they trash me in the comments. What a bummer. I sign autographs to spill my guts and stomach. All I get is people praying that I'll plummet. I came a long way. I mean, yeah, again, listen. I think this is that fucking conservative rhetoric coming in again of like, people fucking hate me. But it's like, dude. Any time that you get fucking, like, political or even have an opinion that could sway away, not even sway away, you have an opinion that is about a subject that other people feel differently about, you're going to have people hating you. So stop trying to act like it's like, oh, my God, dude. I said that I hate, you know, like, for these conservative motherfuckers, I hate trans people, and you should work until you're 78. Uh, and now people hate me? What, dude? Yo, they're trying to cancel me. Like, yeah, dude, obviously there's going to be people that have pushback to that and that are going to shit on you, okay? I fucking despise anti-homeless, like, bunches and shit like that. Yeah, dude, it, it was bad in the city that I grew up in, actually, recently and currently still. Have you ever heard Tom's song Stan where he tries so hard to compare himself to Eminem? No. No, I'm going to have to tap in on that. Um... But yeah, this like, oh, poor me rhetoric. I mean, dude, literally this video, I if I upload it to the fucking, my YouTube channel, I'm probably going to get shit on. And that's okay, dude. That's okay. Yeah, the second someone brags about being political, I lose interest if they are talking, if they are talking about, oh, what they are talking about. Oh, and what they are talking about. Sorry, I missed what. My bad. Dreamt in this all day. I should have saw graves, but God saves. I got faith. What a loser. I needed food. I mean, again, yo, listen, somebody was like shitting on me because I was shitting on Freckled Zelda for her, like her trying to flip shit as religion. If religion genuinely fucking helps you, dude, turn up. Like if you're genuinely like that gives you peace or like gives you a reason to live or like whatever you feel like God put that on your fucking turn up, dude. One time. Yo, I'm yo, Tom, turn up, brother. You know what I'm saying? I, no, I don't think God really hated you or called you to hate, like, gay and trans people, but, you know, that's where I draw the line when people are religious and they're like, well, but God called me to hate these people. It's like, yo, I, I, don't, I don't think that's really what God would want, but I don't know. Bro, being homeless sucks because it feels like you are a burden to anything that moves and no one likes you because they think you're an addict. Yeah, literally, that's like, I hate that fucking stigma in America that, like, everyone that is homeless is, and this might not just be America, right? But everyone that is in a, is homeless is, like, a, an addict, which is not true. And also, if people are addicted, like, nobody's like, oh, yeah, I'm gonna go get addicted to heroin. That'll be fun, you know? Like, nobody does that, dude. Like, they're down on their luck. Who's the maneuver? Bottles of who's in the cooler? Now I'm the proof that you can choose to be a trooper and recruit and pursue a future, be a ruler. Screw all the rumors. That all the dudes will be acting stupid on computers. Hate is a few. Ooh, I'm one of those dudes acting stupid on a computer. Well, the 
that humans can use to improve themselves if they don't let their wounds ruin they move me. You can do it and then you can lose it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me back up. Let me back up here. Let me back up here. I, I fucking missed some of that. Do we have a guy who fakes being homeless? His kids don't talk to him now because of it. It's so sad. Damn. Humans can use to improve themselves if they don't let their wounds ruin, they move me. You can do it and then you can lose it. You can. Okay, so he's saying not. Okay, maybe I'm just a dumbass, but I feel like he's doing a bad job portraying what he's trying to say here because I'm literally trying to like catch it again and again, but I'm missing it. Boost the maneuver, bottles of hooch in the cooler. Now I'm the proof that you can choose to be a trooper and regroup and pursue it. Okay, now I'm the proof that you can be a trooper and. I need to boost the maneuver, bottles of hooch. I need to boost him. I I needed to boost him maneuver. Is that what he said? In the cooler. Now I'm the proof that you can choose to be a trooper and recruit. Oh, recruit. And pursue a future. Be a ruler. Recruit and pursue a future and be a ruler. Screw all the rumors and all the dudes to be. Screw the rumors. Okay. Yeah, it's stupid on computers. Hate is a fuel that humans can use to improve themselves. Oh, hate is a fuel. Hate is a fuel. Okay. If they don't let their wounds ruin, they move me. You um, I'm gonna be honest. Like, as somebody that used to let, like, hate and anger drive me, it's way better if you just, like, do whatever the fuck makes you happy. Like, it's so much better, dude. Like, not waking up every day, like, ah, fuck you liberals, ah, fucking conservatives, or whatever, whoever the fuck you're mad at. Like, just fucking wake up and do whatever the fuck makes you happy and do what, like, you're passionate about, you know? Maybe this is such, like, a fucking Zoomer take, but, like, bro, why are you so fucking upset and pressed about this shit? Just do what the fuck, like, makes you happy. I guess you can use hate to, like move yourself but here's the thing when you use hate to force yourself to do something and get somewhere and then that thing isn't fulfilling right because i've done that shit before that thing isn't fulfilling then you're fucking like destroyed because uh, then who are you supposed to hate you start to hate the people around you or you start to try and find something else that is wrong in your life to hate which then just sends you down a spiral of looking for things that's wrong with your life or wrong or people that have wronged you or something like that right and I think that could be part of Tom McDonald's problem here is that he got to a certain point where he was trying to use hate to get to and now he needs to find something else to hate, you know? Uh, let me catch up with chat. When people use religion to say we can kill slash hurt LGBTQ people, they immediately deem their souls for hell according to their own religion. Yeah, I mean, anyone that's like being judgmental, like causing harm, like, hating people, that is all, like, considered a sin. Jesus literally was like, yo, just love each other. Uh, yeah, God actually told me himself that trans and gay people are groomers and they are after my ch child genitalia. Yeah, literally, bro. L I've literally fucking seen that on Facebook. Before I fucking purged a bunch of my old, like, homeschool friends. Yeah, I've literally seen that shit. You know, brain is not working. What? Yeah, literally. Why do people act homeless? It genuinely bothers me because most of my friends and family have gone through struggles and still do privileged ass bitches yeah my only thing with tom is that i would respect him and his fans 1000 times more if they left room for arguments like adults all they do is say wild shit then get super mad if you say anything back to be fair though i think there is times both sides do this regardless of what you believe yeah absolutely again it also goes back to like people that are quickly or that are like radicalized to one side or the other um and not even like one side or the other you can like say to like whatever like group they're radicalized to immediately are super super like aggressive with their fucking like beliefs and like hating the other side um i think in tom and like ben shapiro's case at least from like the comments that i was seeing in that video that i did a reaction to i think it's people that are like insecure in their belief systems which is why i always like try and hear people out if they're gonna talk to me like a normal human being or like make a video i'll try and hear them out on it right um because it's like another problem is like a lot of people on the internet won't have these like conversations and act like normal human beings because they just assume that somebody's going to get offended or upset about it, right? I think Ben Shapiro and Tom McDonald's audiences have lived a lot of their lives believing one thing. Um, and the fact that people have like good points against it like rattles them. So they'll look for every reason to demean that person and make them smaller than they are. Um where, like, I am fucking down to talk to somebody that thinks Tom McDonald is a fucking lyrical genius and he has a lot of good views and shit. Like, I would be down to have that conversation. It's just sad that a lot of the times the conversations in my life are on the internet where people are just, like, pieces of shit a lot of the times. I've never been fueled by rage daily, but I live 
oh, but I live and have lived with people who do, it hurt, harms them and everyone around them because they are angry at everything all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I I agree. Have you all seen that case about the Native American boy? His name was Cole, I'm pretty sure. I don't think I have. Fortunately, my aunt is conservative and so is my dad, but trying to educate them gets me in trouble. By conservative, I mean the homophobic ones. Yeah, dude. Luckily, I don't have any like homophobic conservatives in my family, at least I know of. I'm very lucky for that. Um, and again, like, yo, I like try to even like have conservative Christians in my life. And I like want to talk to people like that. Right. And like want to get their viewpoints. Like if there is something in my life that like I'm wrong about, like in my political ideology, I'm happy to hear someone else out. Tell me why they think it. Like, I don't hate Tom. He says crazy stuff that I may not agree with, but it's what he believes. And he has a hundred percent full right to think what he thinks. Yeah. I I've seen cases of both sides being really quick to the the gun on shit. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, bro. What? Cole went missing and they found his body not that long ago. His hair was cut off and it is widely believed he was targeted for being Native American because hair is important to Native American people. Jesus Christ. Found him dead in a car? We y'all talking about a bunch of different stuff right now, but mostly Tom McDonald. Okay, let me back this up a little bit. Let's let's keep let's keep here. I'm again. I'm gonna try and like not be a dick to this dude. To be a trooper and recruit and pursue a future, be a ruler. Screw all the rumors that all the dudes will be acting stupid on computers. Hate is a fuel that humans can use to improve themselves. If they don't let their wounds ruin, they move it. You can do it and then you can lose it. You can choose to view it through some different pupils. You can shoot for the moon if you miss it. I mean, that's good. That's I think that's a good bar. Yo, what's up, you frown? Thank you, brother. I appreciate you. How are you doing? How's life? It happened in your hometown? Oh my god. Um, but yeah, I think that was good advice. Him saying, look at it from different pupils. That's why I say like all the time, not pupil specifically. I understand he was doing it for a bar. But um try and uh try and look at things with a different perspective. That's real. You should not use hate to improve yourself. Fuck no. Yeah, that that though, that is real. I'm not very political, so I don't mind what someone believes politically. I just want to chill. That's real. Doing good. You, I'm doing pretty great. I'm feeling sleepy right now, but I bought two monsters earlier. I'm about to bust into one of them. Yo, what? Here in a few after we get done with this reaction. So we finna be up. You frown. How's streaming been going, homie? Recoup it and then execute it so you make it through it. There ain't no excuses. The rules are confusing. So break it and use them to find the solution. The truth is you're losing till you are immune and you turn the abuse into your evolution. I've been addicted to plenty of pills. I mean, I think that's, like, a good message overall. Like, yo, people are going to hate you. Like, use that to fuel you. And I think in some points, like, if that is a part of your motivation, then it can be good. But if that is your main motivation, I don't think that's really a good, healthy space to live in. I think you're going to you're gonna continue to, like, spiral a lot. But that's just my opinion. I mean, everybody's fucking brain is different in some way. So, like, if that works for you, turn up. I just personally have found in my fucking fucking yogi type shit that uh that shit is very fucking harmful at least it was in my life at Haskell a native a native college a white girl came up and cut his hair at a party and in native culture hair is considered sacred and when he went to confront her he went missing Chris gonna add his nut to the drink with bowl cum in it already yo what have you heard of Lexi Bronner Bronner stuff I've not What's up, Void Guy? How are you doing, bro? What's new, family? What what's happened to you in the last ten days? It was poor and mentally ill. If I hold on, hold on. Let me let me back up here so we can get to the next the fucking beat switch. I've been addicted to plenty of pills, poor and mentally ill. If I can do it, you can do it. I went from homeless and drunk to turning down record deals. I done got so many wins that I forget the wins. So many. Okay, I actually think that this is a this is a much better beat. Plaques inside the crib, they're getting hard to live. They so jealous, I'm just glad that I... Not exactly what I would normally listen to, but I think it's the best beat so far, at least from everything I've heard. Maybe it's just because I like that... The fucking 808s or whatever that is. Ain't them. They got, I ain't them. They got money, they got pennies, they got dollars, but they ain't been making any sense. They got hundreds, they got thousands. I got 10, 11, 15, 20-something names. But I mean, I get it again, but, like, I get it. Maybe this is just supposed to be a brag song, but he went from very, like, encouraging to, like, then talking about money again. And it kind of feels like we're going in like kind of a circle. I, I get what he's trying to do. I just wish there was like he continued the better message, not like seemingly being like very like bipolar here and switching. Like, are you being 
are you being like building people up and like and like encouraging them or are you bragging about how much money you have and all the like hits that you have but this ain't always what my life was like Honestly, it still give me okay. chills. Way before all of my viral songs, before I was living in Beverly Hills, way before I went and sobered up, back when me and Brandon couldn't pay the bills, way back when I should Let's go Brandon. Been locked up, overdosed or getting killed. My sister called me from the hospital, said her job's killing her and that was a fact. She working overtime often, out of options, having panic attacks. Didn't let her finish uh -huh. talking, told her walk in and to quit and call back. Uh -huh. Next thing I know she's in California and she's working for Hangover Gang. And Daddy Hangover Gang what is that? Is this is this an inside to Tom McDonald? I don't know his lore like that. Is that like is that like his rap pack? Like Logics? Oh, his brand? Um, hold on. Let me what what it what it what was going on with his sister? Way before all of my viral songs, before I was living in Beverly Hills, way before I went and sobered up, back when me and Brandon couldn't pay the bills. Way back Brandon, I'm guessing this is his wife, right? When I should have been locked up, overdosed or getting killed. My sister called me from the hospital, said her job's killing her, and that was- Oh, is this present day? Uh, bro, again, he keeps switching in between a bunch of shit. I don't know where he's going with the story. Was this when he was broke, or is this right now? And he's like, oh yeah, now I'm paying my sister. Fact, she working overtime often, out of options, having panic attacks, didn't let her fit- Bro, again, literally your side, okay, sorry. I'm getting a little upset. Your side of the fucking political spectrum is why she needs to work overtime. I'm not talking about fucking fucking inflation. I'm talking about fucking, uh, yo, dog, let's fucking up the minimum wage. Let's up how much we pay workers. Literally, these companies are making so much fucking stupid money and profit. Let's fucking help these people. And it's fucking usually his side of the fucking party line. Not that either side are particularly good, but usually his side that are outstandingly like, no, no. Finished talking, told her walk in, and to that's awesome, bro. You have twenty million dollars. You can pay your fucking family to work for you. Uh, uh, fucking, I don't have it that lucky, dude. <laughs> you know. Quit and call back. Next thing I know, she's Hold on, child, catch up in a second. She's working for Hangover Gang, and Daddy always told me I was special. Why is he in California? Doesn't wouldn't he hate California and everything it is? Why is he not in Texas? Also, like they take half his fucking money. Um, good message, but he's also a white man. Too much liberalism. <laughs> I'm good, not very much new. Luckily, I've gotten pretty connected to some of the rest of my family, though. Yo, hell yeah, brother. I found green in a jar that I already thought I smoked. W Yo, W! That's a huge W. Pretty good. I've been on the edge of requirement for affiliate. I get, like, 2.9. Go back to 2. Oh, bro. Fuck. I'm sorry. Um. Okay. So, this is about uh, Lexi. Okay. She and a couple of her friends apparently almost killed an 8-year-old autistic in the UK. What? Holy shit. This guy went from speaking truth to going way overboard on politics and such. Yeah, I feel bad. I mean, like, I get it, dude. Yo, also, real Alex, what's up, homie? How are you doing? I get it. Um. No, Lexi is something else we were talking about. Um. I get that, like... Uh, being a grifter is, like, very profitable, and he definitely saw a niche in the market, and I think that, like, he did a really good fucking job, like, honestly, right? Um, but I really wish that he would make, like, basically trim out all this, like, talking about him having a shit ton of money and having, like, records, and would just make, like, an encouraging song. Like, I think that would be good. <laughs> like, I'd actually give him another chance. Special and one day I would conquer the music business and I guess he was right because look at my life I just bought him a new Porsche for Christmas and mama worked harder than any woman on earth Her boss would have never have fired her. I recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth. So I retired her This ain't white privilege. This ain't trust fund. That's awesome, bro. I mean honestly like turn up. That's that's good shit That's good shit Okay, next to the fucking NFR beat, okay? I recognized they weren't giving her what she was worth, so I retired her. This ain't white privilege, this ain't trust fund, this ain't good luck, this ain't silver spoon, this is hard work, this is long night. I do think there's, a, like, luck involved, right? There's always luck involved if you're gonna rise on the internet, you know? But, uh, you know, I get I get what he's saying here. And I do agree, he fucking did it himself, you know? So I'm gonna give him his props. Yo, Real Alex, miss you too, homie. Nice, this is all me, 
this is what I do. This is palm trees and Ferraris and a calm breeze and a pretty view. If you don't believe I deserve it, then you never lived the life I did and you wouldn't make it through. I came out of city where I still don't get no respect. I actually, from what I've heard of Tom McDonald before he got super political, I think he does deserve it. I think he's actually talented. Again, I would just say fucking get some better beat selection, you know? And figure out exactly what story you want to tell in songs, because really this could be like fucking four songs, my boy. Pull a Nick D, drop one song every week. I moved away and I blew up and everyone else is so stuck in the town that I left. I'm not impressed. And they've been saying my video views are all fake and I honestly hope it helps get them some rest. I'm worth like 30 million mother dollars. All you bums are living... Is, is he worth 20 million or 30 million? And also, is he on his Christian rap arc where he says no, no swear words in his fucking videos? To check. Now everybody is an enemy. They all tell us that I'm a celebrity. Well, screw them, screw the government, screw the record label, screw the mainstream. I'm in God mode, they in peace mode. We are not the same, we ain't equals. And I pray to God that you can deep throat. Got 11 inches. What? Did bro really go from not saying fuck? He really censored himself saying fuck to being like, my dick is 11 inches. I'm fucking deep throating the industry. I'm fucking, my dick is going raw in the industry. What the fuck? What the fuck? No way. Well, screw them, screw the government, screw the record label, screw the main. Brother, it is crazy to me that conservatives like, like especially Tom McDonald brand of conservatives I'm not saying this is all for all conservatives okay um think that they aren't big government like they're like yeah dude we don't fuck with big government brother y'all the motherfuckers that try to get abortion banned in the entire fucking country dude you're the ones that are trying to literally get past where fucking kids can't get educated on LGBTQIA plus rights. Y'all motherfuckers are the fucking big government. What are you talking about? Fuck the government? Yo, what? Dude's mad he had to pay taxes. Stream, I'm in God mode, they in peace mode. We are not the same, we ain't equals. And I pray to God that you can deep throw. Got 11 inches for Oh yeah, my bad, I got, I got distracted. I was on a side quest. Peace mode, we are not the same, we ain't equals. And I pray to God that you can deep throw. Got Oh, I pray to God you can deep throat. 11 inches for you weak hoes. I got 11 inches for your weak hoes. For you weak hoes. Y'all cannot critique me. Y'all ain't in my league still. All your hate completes me. I can't be killed. Y'all just want to be me. Maybe be chill. Leave them. Oh, brother. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm going to be honest with you. I would rather be uh, a stupid, shitty, progressive um, streamer with fucking... 16 concurrent viewers than a conservative grifter rapper with 30 million dollars. I think. You know, maybe I need to turn up. Actually, wait. I'm bleeding in a wheat field. All my missiles heat seek. You can beat me, homie. Keep still. I can tell that you don't eat meat. Ton of green beans. You a vegan when the beef's real. Everybody. What? Kind of funny though. Yeah, no, it is funny. No, I'm not gonna lie. The 11 inches thing is fucking crazy. It's fucking goofy as fuck. Still, all your hate completes me. I can't be killed. Y'all just wanna be me. Maybe be chill. Leave them bleeding in a wheat field. All my missiles heat seek. You can beat me, homie. Keep still. I can tell that you don't eat meat. Ton of green beans. You. Okay, he's he's got a different flow now. I like it. Too bad it's like he's not saying anything at all. Dude really hit the seven minute mark. I was like, yo, I need another fucking minute of this. Okay, let's see what I can get. Does this have captions? His ego really fucked him up. He is trying too hard. Yeah. Eat meat, ton of green beans, you a vegan Eat meat, ton of green beans, try to beef with me. When the beef's real, every when the beef's real. And then he hit the... <laughs> After that. Everybody's saying I'm fake, but they're the ones who are really faking, though. And their son's all I need. Did he freestyle this? 
they pull Mike the Ego in the studio's like freestyle it, and then he's like, all right, we're not gonna fucking fix this though. The lyric was get was giving tell your boyfriend if he says he's got beef, then I'm a vegetarian and I ain't fucking scared of him. But like the exact opposite, yeah. Real. Everybody's saying I'm fake, but they're the ones who really faking though, and they're so. No, dude. No, this sound. No. Oh, no. Tom, please. Please, you didn't have. You could have just ended it right there. You could have just fucking NF out. End right there. No, 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 no. We needed. We needed. Real. Everybody's saying I'm fake, but they're the. Okay. You have a nice auto tune plug in there. I like it. What's it really faking, though? And their songs all on you. And their songs all on you. Yo, bro. YouTube, well, my songs on the radio, they... Oh, their songs all on YouTube, my songs on the radio. Brother, you... Brother, most radio play, and I know this, because I fucking tap in on artist shit, right? Literally, fucking Nick D said it. If you want radio play, most of the time you have to sell you that song to a record label. He needs to sh No, that's crazy. They claim they hate fame, but they change when they need streams. Then they say names in play. They change when they need streams? I mean, listen, brother. The fact you've been on a conservative grift for 10 years is impressive. I'm with it. Play games and take game and hate on me. Wait, I got one more thing. I mean, maybe it's not a grift. Maybe he's being honest, dude. Maybe he's being honest. Maybe he really is like this, dude. I gotta say. Oh. I don't need any more money these days. I just do it for all of my fans I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can I'm gonna keep going till I'm in the coffin I promise no stop until I kick the can to the day that they're dropping my box in the ground. It's hangover gang oh, Okay, hangover gang is his squad. He could have had this right the visuals would have tied him perfectly if he did this and then this that, I think, would have been way better. He, I don't think he should have fucking put this one in here. It's again, it's basically what he said earlier again. But I guess that's kind of been this entire fucking video, so. I don't need any more money. These days I just do it for all of my fans. I pray to God I inspire somebody or show someone who thinks they can't that they can. I'm going to keep going till I'm in the coffin. I promise no stopping till I kick the can. To the day that they're dropping my box in the ground, it's hangover gang. <laughs> Again, I wish that he would have just, like, made an inspirational song. I think it could have been good, but it felt like he was just jumping. Like, he was doing the same thing over and over again. Like, if he did all the inspirational parts all into one song, I think it would have been a really good song, actually. The thing that I don't like about this, I'll leave the like on it. I don't give a fuck. I actually did like some of the song, is he kept going in circles. It felt like, I understand, like, maybe that was the point of the song, is, like, bumping in between the two, like, inspirational and, like, Shitting on haters, right? I guess. Um, but he kept, it felt like he was just going in circles with it. Like, he wasn't really saying anything new. Like, after he said, like, after specifically, like, this point, like, 240, pretty much, he just kept going in circles until he got to the family part. And then he kind of said something new. But again, it just kind of makes me be like, brother, literally, your, like, your family was... A, a, a victim to, like, the struggle, dude. Why are you so fucking aggressively conservative if your family was, like, getting fucked over by employers and shit? Also, yeah, yo, dude, I feel like an 8 minute and 24 second video is just showing that you're out of touch with music right now. Because, like, nobody's making songs like that. I mean, yo, fucking, I guess turn up. But again, like, if you aren't going to say something new as the song goes on, what's the point of it being eight minutes? Like, dude's trying to be like Kendrick or J. Cole or Iron Maiden with a fucking, like, ten-minute song, but, like, you know. But he has Stockholm Syndrome with the government? A seven-minute music video talking about haters and politics is really just pointless. Honestly, it's all for clicks, but guess it's just me. Nah, that's real, dude. That's real. I mean, uh... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Monetization? Yeah, maybe that's what it was. Bro was trying to do a mid-roll ad. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I think I pretty much added everything I wanted to talk about here. It's just like, again, I think he should have just put these into two different songs. Uh, 
And also the main thing is just like me disagreeing with the fucking him being like, hate can be a skill that you can use yourself to drive. And like, if that is really what you have to do to like survive, then like turn up and do it. But also I don't think like if you're doing okay in life, I don't think you should use that as your main force of drive for life. Also, again, I don't think he is conservative with shit like struggle. It's more about LGBTQIA+. That's the shit he talks about the most on his shorts. Yeah, but still, with even with LGBTQIA+, um, a lot of those times those people are uh, going through very similar struggles to what he's got going on, which is why I don't understand, or ha had going on. I don't know why he can't empathize with them, you know? I didn't. Sorry, sorry. Is that like a song wreck for off of stream or was it something that you wanted me to uh, check out on stream? 52-year-old grandma here. Been clean for 23 years. I'm grateful for my kids and grandkids. Praying for anyone fighting. Yo, uh, this is. I'm actually for this. I should have saw graves, but God saved. Jesus completely delivers and saves. Been clean for 40 years. Yo, that's awesome, bro. That's another thing that I didn't say about religion is like a lot of times for people, religion um, is... Okay, bets. All right. Since we got some more reacts... I'm going to save this for later. Oh, it's Hardy. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll react to this on stream at some point. Let me add this to uh, watch on stream. Oh, fuck. Can you put this in um watch on stream for me? Sorrow in the Discord? Thank you. Um, Religion can be a really good thing for people dealing with addiction. I know that like 12-step programs pretty much immediately tell you to like find a connection to a higher power like God. I don't think it needs to be specifically Christian, right? It can just be a form of God. You have to find that shit, you know? The lack of empathy I find so many times makes me want to go live on a farm and bake bread by scratch. Yeah! No, that's real as fuck. That's really why I keep saying I'm gonna fucking go buy a fucking log cabin <laughs> up in the middle of nowhere and just fucking stay the fuck away from this shit. 